Jennifer from Fiberflux. Welcome to the Fiberflux Favorites May edition. This video I'll be sharing all the things I've loved using during the month of May. I often use lots of different yarn and different tools and I really like to take the time to share with you all the stuff I'm having a blast using. So the first thing I wanted to share is I've really been into and drawn to vintage crochet. Actual vintage pieces. So this doily I have here, this was actually my grandmother's and it has this beautiful star and these 3D flowers and it's so fun to look at crochet from a long time ago that you can recognize the stitches and it's so beautiful and delicate and um, I'm learning how to take care of these pieces but this was my grandmother's. It's from like the 40s or 50s. So it's pretty old and very delicate. So I'm trying to figure out how to display it. So if you had something like this, leave below. How would you display this in your home? Do you have vintage pieces? Do you have maybe a blanket someone made you or a doily like this? So I really uh, have been enjoying having vintage crochet in my space. Um, so moving on to the next thing, something else that I've been really into this month is the new Pompadoodle yarn from Red Heart. So as you can see, I kind of decked out my backdrop with the pink and purple Pompadoodle yarn. Uh, this is another shade. This is called Meadow. Uh, I did a yarn 101 for Pompadoodle and I also showed how to create a blanket edging as well as an easy garland like this. So Pompadoodle yarn is has been so much fun this month to just play around with and check out and it's super soft as well. And speaking of yarn, another yarn I've been using a lot this month is Red Heart Scrubby Smoothie. This is the blueberry color. This is such a wonderful cotton yarn. It's very smooth and soft. It comes in a ton of colors and I really enjoyed working with it. It has wonderful stitch definition and it's really just really beautiful cotton yarn. I really enjoyed that. And let's look at, uh, I have a book here. This book, um, now we did a giveaway for this book last month in April, but I had to grab this for my May favorites because it's such a pretty book. It's from Interweave and we did have a giveaway and that has closed. So uh, again, congratulations to the winner. Um, but this teaches you how to create uh, flowers on a loom and then incorporate them into your crochet and it's such a beautiful book. This is by Hafner Linson and again it's Crochet Loom Blooms and I also wanted to show you in the back cover it comes, I don't know if you can see this, it's white on white but it has a little cardboard loom so you can actually get started with your own looms and not have to worry about getting a tool right away. Crochet Loom Blooms is a book I keep picking up again and again and flipping through and just admiring all the beautiful flowers and the photography and really May is just the ideal time to check out this book because of May flowers. So crochet loom blooms. And the last thing on my favorites list is my Furls Odyssey hook. Now prior to this month I had never used a Furl Odyssey, Furls Odyssey hook. If you're familiar with Furls they make really amazing like artisan hooks that are really special and just really unique and beautiful. And uh, during the month of May, I had partnered up with Furls and we did a crochet along together. We made the Flora and Fauna shawl. So I'll put the links below for all of this, um, the shawl and everything that I mentioned. You can still get the pattern and everything. But I used the Furls Odyssey hook for this and I had a special one that they sent me. So special thanks to them as a side note. But this is um, like red sparkly paint and the top of it is actually gold. So I've never used a gold hook before. So I had a really good time working up my flora and fauna shawl uh, with this hook. It was just a real treat to uh, check out this hook. So this is a, a hook favorite of mine for the month of May. So I hope you enjoyed all this stuff and I wanted to leave it up to you now. What have you used in the month of May that you enjoyed? Did you check out some new yarn? Maybe a book you'd like to share? So leave your comments below and I'm sure everyone would love to see new and exciting things that you may have tried and what, what worked for you, maybe what didn't work for you and you know, all the kind of yarny adventures you had in the month of May. So those are my May favorites and uh, stay tuned for the next one in June. I'll be uh, checking some stuff out next month and sharing them with you at the end of June. So happy stitching everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.